Now, I was down at the Piers Morgan thing in New York, but also in Houston, in Katy, a few weeks ago. They're covering it when he was down there. And I saw Ted Nugent drive through, waved at him. He rolled down the window and said, I'll kick their butt for you and drove in uh, to the building where I'd been earlier. Uh, there at the uh, Tactical Firearms. And a fella called in saying he was Ted Nugent, who's been on the show probably 10 times in the last 15 years or so. In fact, I've been trying to get him on lately. Uh, and um, I, somebody called in saying they're Ted Nugent. And I said, okay, ask him, because I don't have time. I, I couldn't talk to him just now and run out there and find out who they are and, and make sure it's Ted. I said, ask him what he drove into the Piers Morgan thing in Houston in. And he said, my pilot's cruddy gray SUV. So it's either Ted Nugent or it's somebody that was there and knew. <laughs> so I'm very excited to get Uncle Ted on with us. If it's Uncle Ted, I'll recognize his voice. Is that Uncle Ted? Alex, greetings from the uh, self-evident truth army that uh, supports everything <laughs> you do, man. It's now, that, you. Was, that was definitely me in that cruddy SUV. And I'm just calling to let you know that those of us who dance on the skull of Pierce Morgan ought to communicate more often because you did God's work, man. And I'm calling in to say thank you. Well, no, I want to thank you. Hey, when can I, I know you're a busy guy, but when can I get you on the show? We need to do it soon. I'm really, really busy these days. I just happened to have a wonderful dinner uh, with my daughter in Houston. I got in my truck on my way back home to Waco, and I heard you coming on the air with the new telephone number, so I dialed it. I figured I'd just jump in and say hello. Well, listen, can you do uh, maybe 10 minutes with us while you're driving? Yeah, I think as long as I got a signal, I'd be more than happy to, because what you're, what you're celebrating and what you're uh, sharing with the uh, radio listeners out there is indisputable, it's irrefutable, and uh, I gotta thank you because it's it's so late in coming that those of us with the balls and the and the inside view of the criminality of this government right now, the the uh, the unprecedented abuse of power and corruption and fraud and deceit by the Chicago gangster scammer Acorn in chief. Uh, it, it's so diabolical that I just wanted to say thank you from the trenches. No, no, please don't thank me, sir. We want to get your take on this, and uh, we're going to break. We're going to come back, start the next hour, maybe do 10, 15 minutes with you until your phone fades. Get Ted Nugent while you can uh, here because it's Wango Tango. It's a free-for-all. Got a rock and roll band. <laughs> one of my favorite rock stars and one of my favorite patriots, Ted Nugent, calling in. We're going to break here in about a minute, sir. But what do you make of the NRA getting this memo that the, that the Department of Justice didn't want out, that they want to physically take the guns? Couldn't this be their Waterloo if we use it? Well, you know, I would like to think so if logic ruled the day and Americans were uh, more engaged. Uh, but I think the apathy is still the number one curse in America, Alex. I don't think there's enough of us engaged. I would like to think that the most participatory we the people experimenters and self-government are indeed the Second Amendment community, but we still only represent maybe, what, four, five, six percent of the actual gun lovers and the gun owners and the freedom lovers of this country. So I would hope that this kind of danger sign, but if we haven't demanded accountability for a Benghazi or Fast and Furious and all the other criminal acts by this regime, then I, I'm afraid I don't have hope that this will be a, a motivator itself. No, you're right. That's what tyrants do. They get you used to putting up with their crap, and then pretty soon you're in Nazi Germany. Second hour coming up. I know you're staying tuned. It's Ted Nugent. Straight ahead for the next 10, 15 minutes, then your calls. We're going to get Ted Nugent back on the show, and he said definitely he'll come in studio soon. Uh, regardless, we'll continue taking your phone calls uh, here, but we were able to get his number before it before it dropped off, so we'll see if we can get Ted Nugent back on with us. But 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 how cool is that, getting Ted Nugent to call into the show? Uh, let's go to uh, Doug in North Dakota. Doug, uh, you follow Ted Nugent. Go ahead. What an honor. Yeah, uh, you know, this has been a conundrum, uh, listening to Ted Nugent and looking at the, at, at the, at the cross talk that uh, I was unfortunately under the, the impression that Ted would never uh, align himself and, and, and cross over and, and take that final contact. You know, this is a watershed moment, sir. And I say that with all due respect to you because, you know, as a, as a over-the-road truck driver, 55 years old, Ben thought I w was awake, thought I knew what was going on. You know, it wasn't until uh, February of 2007 before I even knew who Alex Jones was. Well, enough you about know, old it, Alex it, Jones. My point is they're coming after our guns now, and, and we were able to get Ted Nugent back on. Did you guys get him? 
Okay, let's put this caller on hold. I'll come back to him. We're going to break in a moment, but we do have Ted. Uh, let's go ahead and punch uh, Mr. Nugent back up. I've I've driven around in the middle of Texas many times where he's at out there by Waco, and it's either great cell phone or no cell phone. And uh, Ted, as soon as you get good cell, I promise if you just pull over for 10 minutes, I just want to get your take on all this news and the veterans getting letters saying that they may have their guns basically taken in mass, even if they're just physically disabled. Uh, Ted, are you there? Yeah, I got you, Alex. Yeah, that's a very important point, man. I hope you got a good signal. Yes, me. sir. Yes, sir. Clearly? Yes, sir. Well, what you're doing is you're, you know, as important, as critical, as, as pivotal as the Second Amendment is for genuine freedom. The reason the First Amendment exists is because we, the people, and the media are supposed to always be asking questions and spotlighting cockroaches and hold the government accountable because so much of the media today has absolutely abandoned their duty under the First Amendment to ask those kinds of questions on behalf of the citizenry. What you're doing and what a lot of us are doing out there in the media now is we're picking up the slack. So, yeah, this, this is a reality. They are coming after our guns. Diane Feinstein has said on film, I would disarm America if I could. The, the attorney general violating his oath to the Constitution, running illegal guns to Mexican drug gangs, is on film stating he needs to brainwash Americans about guns. This isn't an Alex Jones or a Ted Nugent thing. The documentation, the evidence is inescapable. And exactly, and you and I aren't in comas. That's why we're angry. Paul Revere was riding around saying, get your guns and start shooting people. And, and he wasn't called radical. I'm not calling for that. You're not calling for that. But uh, again, people can't criticize us for getting angry. That's what founded this country is getting a damn pulse. And I mean, who doesn't, I was going to ask the rhetorical question, who doesn't know why the founding fathers put the Second Amendment there. But horror of horror, Alex, like I was talking in our first conversation a moment ago, the, the curse, the, the embarrassment of apathy. There's an enormous swath of Americans that have no idea what the Constitution says, what the Bill of Rights says. That's why people are able to get away with the scam that the Second Amendment has to be interpreted. You've got to be kidding me. Who needs the right to keep the bare arms shall not be infringed? Interpreted. That's, a, that's an indication of the sheeping, the desoling, the sheeping of America. And it absolutely embarrassing. Incredible. Ted, I'm giving you the floor. We're going to break for 60 seconds. We're coming right back to you, and I want you to cover Fast and Furious, the veterans getting the letters, where you think this fight is going. Should we move to impeach Obama? Ted Nugent for one segment on the road, deep in the heart of Texas, from the heart of the resistance. Pro Pure is introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. This is the Pro One by ProPure. You wanted it, you got it. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It cuts out the acid derivative of fluoride. It is the only one that does it. And out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. This is a revolution against the tyrants. They love putting the toxic acid base of fluoride into your water. They love the fact that it's an adjuvant supercharging the trace Prozac in the water and the hormones and the other chemicals. By cutting out fluoride, you cut out the turbocharger in all the poison being artificially introduced into your body. This is what I use. It's a win-win. You get a high-quality product at the lowest price. You support the InfoWar. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.
Daddy's out there driving near College Station, deep in the heart of Texas, Ted Nugent, the uh, top of the food chain uh, rocker of Stranglehold and so much more, but more importantly, a defender of the Constitutional Republic, one of the few people that really gets in there and says, look, this is about enslaving the American people. Ted, great to have you call in on the show. Been a guest many times over the last 15 years or so. But uh, Ted Nugent, you've got the floor for this segment. Uh, we've got Fast and Furious, nobody getting in trouble. I want you to speak to that. You've got the new DOJ memo that's going out, to, it looks like, to hundreds of thousands. Most veterans I know are getting it saying either you must turn your guns in or we're coming for a psychological evaluation. Uh, people that are disabled with legs and stuff blown off are, are having visits saying uh, that, that that means they're incompetent. Uh, incredible. Uh, you've got the new uh, Department of Justice memo saying, hey, we ought to just confiscate the guns, period. Uh, the NRA is now responding to that, that I know you're a board member last time I checked. So, so much paper-sized targets of citizens, men, women, and children for Homeland Security, the two billion bullets. I want you to cover it all. Ted Nugent, you've got the floor. Well, Alex, you're bringing up some, some crazy issues. The, 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 the circumstances that allow this insanity to, to fester is more important than the various uh, uh, indicators. Like you said, yes, it is true. The Department of Justice is now trying to identify the most heroic Americans of all, the heroes that have volunteered and served this great nation, the U.S. military, some of the finest human beings, most upstanding, and certainly the most courageous warriors amongst us. They're being targeted to lose their Second Amendment rights, which they've sacrificed dearly for. And yes, the, the fact that the Attorney General is on record, uh, literally on film, declaring how he wants this administration, and this is Eric Holder's own words, brainwash Americans about guns. And you've got the fact that the, the evidence is irrefutable that the, the attorney general, the number one cop, the number one law enforcement official in the United States of America, created this fast and furious scam, this gun running scheme, Define his vow, his oath to the U.S. Constitution to enforce the U.S. Constitution, including the Second Amendment. And the the memos are uh, uh, they're, they're numerous. Where Eric Holder and Barack Obama and even Tim Geithner and Rahm Emanuel and even Hillary Clinton, they're all in on this. Where they were using the Fast and Furious scam again, illegally running guns to the Mexican drug gangs to somehow promote with the big government uh, organized PR campaign to let Americans know that American guns are being used in Mexican crimes, killing people. Well, they are, but they were provided by the American government. A false flag. Gun owners. It, it, it's just diabolical. But again, I cannot overemphasize the most egregious criminal act of all. This is, an ex this is a sacred experiment in self-government. I've, I've saluted too many flag-draped coffins and taken too many heroes of the military that have sacrificed their legs and their arms and their eyeballs and their skin fighting, not just for freedom, not just for the American way and the U.S. Constitution Bill of Rights, but, Alex, they all reference the Second Amendment because the Second Amendment is the teeth in freedom. It is a God-given individual right to each American citizen, actually every human being. And they've taken it everywhere else. They've taken it everywhere else. So, Alex, you're doing God's work, but the number one battle cry of freedom lovers and Americans who cherish this unique quality of life called the American dream, you've got to be engaged. You've got to be a member of the NRA. Number one, you got to be a member of the National Rifle Association, and you got to make sure that your buddies are members of the NRA, and your co-workers, and the guys at school with you, the guys that go to church, and to the bar. I've got to say this since you raised it. I like where the NRA is going since you've been there. It's getting hardcore, and we need to be on the offense, so I salute the direction the NRA is going. You know, there was a, a, a soft period that pissed off all patriots for a long time. But the NRA is the only real fist in the fight. And I got to tell you, you're right, Alex. Uh, the NRA has taken a much stronger, a much firmer, and absolute stance for the Second Amendment. And if I can, right in the Alex Jones radio show, 
God bless everybody who keeps voting for me on the board of directors. I've received some of the highest votes in the history of the National Rifle Association because people know yeah. that I am an ass. No, no, no. We need to clone you and then and then have it all Ted Nugent. the uh, people involved with the NRA are getting more engaged, but it's not just about writing letters to the NRA. It's about communicating on a weekly basis. Absolutely. A weekly basis. Not once a year, not once a month. Every week. Check up with your senator and your congressman. Call your mayor. Get call aggressive. Call talk radio like you're doing. I mean, yes. get that passion. Let me throw this at you. What about impeachment? This memo, uh, fast and furious, saying our military's under NATO, saying he'll shut down power plants without congressional approval in the last State of the Union. I mean, it's time for Congress to impeach Barack Obama's butt. Alex, there's no question that this guy's violations qualify for impeachment. There's no question. But when you've got, let's take the most recent outrage. When you've got the Secretary of State of the United States of America, who was brought in for questioning regarding the murder, the slaughter, the predictable slaughter of four American citizens in Benghazi. Alex, what kind of subhuman numbnut would not know you need security in Benghazi. They ordered the stand down. They ordered the stand down for eight hours. The question is, why would they want that guy dead? And why does Hillary Clinton know that she's got the backing of the president and the government overall, where she has the audacity to scold those elected officials who ask proper questions? The hearings are over. Nothing. No accountability for Hillary Clinton and, and the Benghazi. No accountability for Eric Holder. So what you're saying period. is they're getting a green light to do whatever they want. They've, they've, they've got a green light to do whatever they want. And Alex, you know, we were talking off the air, and we will get together. I could tell you some stories about how the feds have come, come after me and how they've tried to get me on numerous felonies for the most nonsensical, ridiculous scams against me, trying to shut me up, trying to take away my gun rights, trying to take away my voting rights because they're scared because you're a leader. You're a leader, and they're scared of you. I want to back you up. Ted Nugent's our guest. It's a 15-second clip. Here is the attorney general saying he meets with the media to brainwash the public against guns. Here it is. And what we need to do is change the way in which people think about guns, especially young people. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different All way. All right, Ted Nugent, I know you've got to get back on the road and, and you know, get there to see your family, but in closing, Piers Morgan, what is the arrogance of the establishment to send a foreign redcoat here who we fought a war with over guns, who's running from a hacking scandal and criminal stuff, to come here and lecture us all day? Well, Alex, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the only perspective that matters, if I may. You and I and all freedom lovers and all gun rights advocates in America should get on bended knee right now and look to the heavens, make the sign of the cross, and say thank you, God, for making our opponent, our opponent Pierce Morgan. <laughs> that guy's got, you and I could go to the greatest creative minds in the world, and we couldn't come up with a more effective idiot than Pierce Morgan to try to make a point of why we should be disarmed. you got to admit, he's exactly what we need in that position. Absolutely. Uh, well, listen, uh, not just the NRA website. Uh, plug, uh, plug your websites, Ted Nugent. Well, Alex, I would welcome you. I, on my TedNugent.com website, we have all the updates. We have all the stuff that you're talking about. Well, I have a crew out there, and I have a team that's deeply entrenched in the military, in federal law enforcement agencies, and in the, in the uh, House of uh, Congress and the Senate, and they feed me stuff by the hour. I have a talk back at TedNugent.com. We're the greatest working hard, playing hard. And you've got ammo now. Now you've got yeah. ammo. Listen. <laughs> Ted Nugent ammo. How cool is that? Oh, it's incredible. TedNugent.com. Let me talk to you during the break. We'll be back with your calls, folks. Ted Nugent. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. <laughs>